hello guys welcome to how to fix stack in this video guys we are going to install the ubuntu operating system so how to install that i will show you step by step so first of all we need to have iso of ubuntu and then then the refo software so so open the google chrome first on the windows search bar you need to type there ubuntu and hit ok now go to this website ubuntu.com enterprise open source for linux open that now accept and visit sites and you can see the options there so you should be getting this kind of like windows you need to go to this option which is download click on that and once you click on download you need to click on this option get ubuntu desktop and this is for server so we are going to install the in our desktop click on ubuntu desktop so once you click on that you need to scroll it down and look for this option ubuntu just click on download or you can install it like latest version here so i'm choosing here the latest version just right click open in a new tab and you can also choose this option the system requirement is same for both now it's going to download now as you can see here it is almost 4.6 gb so it, it is starting and it will take some time to download so let me pause the video for some time and then i will show you once the download is done so after 30 to 40 minutes it is now downloaded you can see there okay so let me go to the folder and let me cut it from here and save it to the desktop so that you can see the properly okay now the second software we need is rufus we need to type there rufus and go to this first website and scroll it down look for download option you can see here the download option here just click on latest one now close this and it will automatically install here in a second so you can see now it's time to open it or you can just click on it from here this is the exe just double click on there click on yes button when the prompt opens now this is the ubuntu file in the desktop so it's time to insert your pen drive into the laptop so let me insert the pen drive and it should be at least the pen drive should be at least 8 gb of the 6 gb 6 gb is enough but not 4 gb you can see my is 16 gb all the data will be lost from your this e drive okay which is the pen drive so just click on this option so this option is automatic selected here you just need to click on this option which says select and navigate to this so you can see here ubuntu click on open and it's going to now you can choose the file as default fat32 no worry so all the data will be lost from your pen drive okay you can see the message yes yes and also it will also take some time so now you can see it's ready now so let me close this and also check the operating system file there you can see okay these are ubuntu's operating system file we just need to eject it okay once i eject it let me make the video with my phone so this is my dell laptop so you can check out on the google that what is the bootable key on your laptop so this is my pen drive and let me insert it okay i have inserted it into the laptop and let me turn on this and i will continuously press f12 once the light like this you can see now leave it and from here we need to look for our pen drive name you can see here this is send disk just hit enter once the selected and it's going to load the 
Ubuntu operating system you can see here the first option you will get here is try or install Ubuntu just select that option and hit enter now Ubuntu is booting here you can see now you will get the latest Ubuntu you will get the options like this just leave it as default here don't do anything now preparing Ubuntu okay select your language here it is already English but you can choose also if you are in other country click on next click on install Ubuntu this option click on next now this is the keyboard language so I'm selecting here English US click on next now I'm choose this option I don't have want to connect with the internet just now click on next normal installation select that click on next now you will see two options here erase the disk and install Ubuntu so all the data will be formatted from your C drive make sure you don't have any data or if you can choose also this option manual partition so you can allocate the some space from there so I'm choosing here the erase disk and install Ubuntu since I'm only going to install the Ubuntu on it so click on install okay select your reason here like it is already selected here so click on next and your name the username so let me give it name to let me how to fix stack then choose the password confirm the password and click on next option here ok which we want so I want light next now you will see installing the system just wait now some time and this is the latest Ubuntu 23.04 these are the free inbuilt feature you can see liver office it already installed in the Ubuntu operating system